Hello everyone, so welcome back to another uh, episode. Today I'll be doing a video on the uh, Mohawk Android player. So as you can see from here, I already have a sample here. Stay to the end of the video because I will be installing this into my car and then I'm going to take it for a spin. And also we will check out a little bit on its feature and see how it performs, okay? Okay, before we get into the uh, unboxing, here's just a few uh, information about this head unit. Mohawk Android player comes in a few variations. So we have 1 plus 16, 2 plus 16 GB, 2 plus 32 GB, and 4 plus 64 GB. And all this variation comes in two sizes, which is a 9 inch and a 10 inch. So of course, before installing the head unit into the car, you will also need to purchase an additional head unit casing. You can actually go on to uh, Shopee or Lazada and you'll be able to find the uh, head unit casing that is uh, available for your car. So for all, the uh, Mohawk Android player is currently running on uh, Android Pie uh, 9. All of it comes with an IPS screen so you get a better clarity when you're looking at a different angle. Also all of the uh, variation that I, was, that I mentioned earlier is uh, being powered by a 4-core Cortex-A7 uh, CPU. So these are all very powerful processor to ensure that the player will always uh, smooth and efficient. So another thing is that uh, all of the uh, Android players from Mohawk comes with Wi-Fi so that you can connect to your phone hotspot and you'll be able to download all your favorite apps from the Play Store. It also comes with a Bluetooth that you can connect for hands-free connection. All the screens have a re resolution of 1280 by 800 and also you will have a camera input for backing up. All the Android are using a T3L chipset for their radio. So uh, one of the main benefits of having a T3L chipset is that where you will have a better uh, radio reception signal when you're in the car. The uh, Android player comes with built-in EQ where you can actually select from their custom presets or your own uh, manual settings where you can actually control individually of each uh, frequency band. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, power up this guy and uh, we'll have a look at what built-in apps in there and also to have a look at the uh, interface. Okay, so as you can see from here, this is the uh, layout, the default layout for the Android player. As you can see from here, it's Navi, Radio and Music. Then you will have video settings, apps, Bluetooth, and EQ. So if you click on the apps, then it will review all the apps that is built in. For example, you have the Aux, Bluetooth, Google Chrome, uh, Easy Connection for Mirroring, and then we have EQ and we have Facebook, Palm. And then on the second page, you will have Google Maps, Music, OTT, PapaGo, Play Store, Quick Pick, Radio, Settings, Spotify, Steering Wheel, Control, and they have TV, video, Waze, and uh, YouTube. Okay, so as you can see from here, uh, this head unit is powered by Android version 9, and then it comes with a D3L MCU version. Also, it comes with a uh, memory of 2 gig memory. So in terms of sto storage, we have 16 gig, and 37% uh, of it is already being used by the system itself. Okay, so some of the uh, basic functions that are commonly used, such as Waze, Spotify, YouTube, and also we have uh, OTT, which is a uh, live TV streaming. Another good feature about the head unit is that it, it has this feature that's called split screen. So, for example, here I'll be having YouTube on my left hand side, while I would like to navigate. Uh, ways on my right side. Okay guys, so those was uh, some general info about the head unit. 
so next we'll install this into the car and uh, we will test it out again but uh, before that this is my casing for my V2007 so I'll be putting in the head unit into the uh, head unit casing and then we'll proceed to installing into the car Okay guys, welcome back. So, I've already taken out my uh, radio casing. That's because I will be skipping this step of how I did it. But um, I have another video that um, I previously explained a little bit more in detail, step by step on how to remove the uh, cover and also how to install the wiring and the cable. So I will link it somewhere up here or maybe in the description. Now that I have all the cables here, very straightforward. There's no any modifications to the uh, to the wiring they are all plug and play and that's a good thing about Android players as well so uh, let's go ahead and do it okay guys so I've uh, finished installing the uh, head unit so it's time to power it up 